In this class we will discuss parameterization, making its definition in the basic modeling of a parametric sketch. Let's get started. We can conceptualize the term parameterization as the decision process and definition of the parameters necessary for a complete or relevant specification of a geometric model or object. Sometimes parameterization can only involve identifying certain parameters or variables. Using SOLIDWORKS to demonstrate the parameterization definition, we will need to define some parameters and variables. In this way, before modeling, we will have to define in our object what its variables will be. For example, we will use the model of a socket from a pipe key. In this model, one of the variables is the size of the internal hexagon. Knowing this, we easily identify a second variable, which is the outer diameter of the pipe. Very well, we quickly identified two variables in our model. And based on these definitions we can start to model the socket, using best practices to parameterize this model. In SOLIDWORKS, we open a new part file and create a sketch in the top plane. We activated the polygon feature and define that it will have six sides. With the sizing tool, we add a dimension in the inner diameter of the hexagon, setting to the value of 15 mm. We apply a reference on one of the lines to define the hexagon. Proceeding, we use the specific tool to draw a circle, using as reference the center point of the previously drawn hexagon. We set the diameter as shown. A good practice when working with parametric models is to always rename the dimensions or resources that we have, identifying as parameters or variables. So let's rename the two dimensions in diameter. For this, just select the desired dimension and rename it, note. Save this template so we can use it later in the course. We conclude this class, where we define parameterization and start the use of SOLIDWORKS, presenting this concept in practice. Remember that it is always advisable to know which variables and parameters the model will have before starting modeling in the program.